Hey, what's up there, YouTube? Uh, it's Jose here, and uh, yeah, I've got uh, a bunch of DVDs, and I thought uh, I could share my thoughts with you about them. Uh, I haven't had the chance to watch them all, so uh, yeah, there are some that I won't be able to tell you a lot about it. But yeah, there are some that I've already watched, and um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm uh, happy with some, and disa really disappointed with some others. So I'm gonna start with. This one, it is the Prom Night, some rated version. This is the remake. This is not the 1980s Jamie Lee Curtis. It's this is the remake, and uh, it's basically the concept is uh, it's similar to the original one, but uh, completely different as why the killer wanna kill them. In this one, it makes uh, the killer. It was an old uh, a former teacher from the girl, and um, he just got obsessively in love with her. And he killed, um, he murdered her mom and her brother. They locked him out. They locked him up, and um, and yeah, now he's he's he escaped, and uh, he's chasing her, and he's that's about it. He's obsessed with her, and he's chasing her, and he's killing everybody that is in between. Um, well, as a slasher move or a slasher movie, yeah, we could call it as a this kind of psycho movie. I mean, it's it's okay, but the point with this movie and is that the 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 killer, the killer, it's I don't remember the name of the actor, but every time I see him, I remember I remember his movie, The Wonders, that when he's playing the guitar and um and singing these love songs with Liv Tyler and the Tom Hanks movie, The Wonders. So it's really a turn now when I see him like I can get I I'm like I can't see him serious at all but yeah anyway it's a good movie I just um, think um, if you really if I if I were if I were you I would buy the the other one I would check uh, the original one out instead of this one but if you're a collector check this one as well I mean it's an okay movie to put one afternoon and um, to watch it so prom nights 2008 Okay, the next one. I haven't checked this one out yet, but uh, I heard decent things about it. I heard it's a very good um, spooky house flick. is um, called. It's a British movie it's called The Legend of Hell House. I've watched trailers from this from this one, and um, and yeah, I it's about this haunted house, and I, I cannot tell you anything yet. So I will watch this one and I will review it uh, next time. But yeah, it's I don't I don't know if it's um, out of print or something. I know that it took me quite a while to get this one. But uh, yeah, the Legend of Hell House. Okay, okay, there we go. More uh, we have a nineteen. It's kind of old this one. I don't know which what year it is. I think it's between fifty and sixties. Is um. House on Haunted Hill, starring Vincent Price, as you all know him, uh, Prince of Darkness from that era. And if you like, um, if you like these more old B movies, this one, this one, House on Haunted Hill, it has uh, not a lot to do with the remake of uh, of the 2000s. Um, uh, the remake, the remake is they trying to make. Yeah, the ghosts on the remake are real. As in, there was that old uh, clinic there where they made these horrible operations, and then the ghosts are chasing the people in the house. And the the concept of spending the night and getting the money is the same one as here. He is a millionaire that uh, invites his uh, guests and tells them that if if they stay the night, if they spend the night uh, there, they will get um, ten thousand dollars. In that time, it was a lot of money. It was a very big amount. So. But what happens is that in this one he makes them believe they're a ghost, while on the meanwhile is himself the one doing all the tricks and yes, driving them crazy. I mean it's a great movie um, for its time. If you like these B horror movies from from the fifties, <coughs> excuse me, from the fifties and sixties, this one is a very good movie. And Vincent Price is always very good in this kind of type of movies. So I like this one better than the remake, and uh, yeah, that shit that they made, uh, Return to the House on the Haunted Hill, I, I haven't even watched it, because uh, I think it's bullshit, but yeah, original one. Yeah, you can, I mean, original movies are always, 
That was good. I mean, if they remake them, it means that they were good, I think. But yeah, you never know. Uh, another remake and another Vincent Price movie is um, the House of Wax. And this one, I think it's my second favorite from Vincent Price, uh, being the first one, uh, um, how is it called, uh, Last Man on Earth. But this one, I like it, um, and I like it a lot better than the remake with Paris Hilton. He's not the, he's not the, the, a bad guy by himself in the beginning of the movie. He just kind of has a business of this house of wax, and he has a business partner mm, that decided let's burn the house of wax so we can get money from the insurance company. So what they do is uh, they have a very big fight, but the house burns in the end. He gets crazy because for him, from Vincent Price, where like his sculptures were like his son, his sons and daughters. I don't know the fuck, but yeah. So what he does kill kill the business partner, and he doesn't have money then to to sculpt again. So he just collects people and throws them in this huge bucket of wax. So that's how he gets his sculptures. The point with this movie, or the bad thing, not bad thing because it's not bad movie. It's a great movie. But the um, turndown of the movie might be that the climax of the movie happens, or at least in my opinion, happens in the beginning when when Vincent Price and uh, his business partner are having the fight in the House of Wax with all the fire around and everything burning. And then the movie doesn't kind of goes downhill from there. It doesn't have more these kind of climax scenes. And you expect that he's gonna kill his business partner like the last guy and like in the craziest way but he he's just the first one to die and he just died choked uh, I don't remember really good but it's that is the only complaint I have about this movie other than that it's a great movie again if you like these movies you should check this one out as well okay and uh, another one I got from my girlfriend yesterday and I watched today this morning is um, the Scars of Dracula starring Christopher Lee this is the fifth one on the Dracula Hammer series um, I think it's the fourth one starring Christopher Lee I'm not sure about it but um, yeah it's a it's not the best Dracula Hammer movie I mean they give him a lot of dialogue to so he can speak a lot he can talk a lot to Christopher Lee because normally in the other Dracula movies he's just like the, his presence is there but he doesn't have a lot to say actually but in this one he does like in the original one uh, and they kinda wanted to start a new series uh, from this one on but it didn't work out real well because it's not a great Dracula movie I I think you should better What's the original? The three first ones, the three first ones to see. There, there isn't um, Professor Van Helsing. Peter Cushing is not in this movie. And yeah, Scars of Dracula. It's an okay movie. I mean, if you like this Hammer Dracula movies, I personally like them better than the Universal movies. They are Universal Dracula movies with Bela Lugosi are great. Don't get me wrong, fantastic, but I like these ones, they have more this gory style, he's, Dracula's more bloody, his presence is more is scarier, so yeah, but if you're collecting these movies, as, I, as I'm doing these Dracula movies, uh, I'm a huge Dracula fan, so check this one out, Scars of Dracula, okay, um, yeah, this has been now, I have some more here, that... Uh, that I'm gonna show you but because I run out of time I think I will have to do a double part kind of annoying always so I don't know how to do more than 10 minutes if anybody can tell me actually I kind of knew here on the YouTube so I don't really know I don't know if you have to pay if you have to go somewhere special but yeah but anyway I got these movies I got them this some I had on my collection that I wanted to show you some I haven't watched yet some I got this week from my girlfriend and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching I'm gonna right now make part two see you in a moment